So uh, we got a call. Um, someone is spreading some sort of rumor or gossip of a sort. Uh, apparently it has something to do with uh, some girl at school with a, a bad haircut. Um, this, this girl is uh, maliciously spread, spread uh, some rumors and we're going to go take care of her right now. We're arriving right now. Looks uh, like there's some uh, tampering going on right here. Don't know exactly what's happening. Check it out. Yeah, 51, if you could uh, take that. Let's rock and roll. Nice place. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Ah! 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 Cover mouth. Mass gossip. How did you find out? Find that out later. Come on. Where's the where's the weapon? Start one in more room. Yeah, we're, we're at our room, Izzy. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Well, this is kind of a shame that such a, well, a seemingly nice young girl uh, <laughs> to get caught up in such a trap. She, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's really sad, but you know, we uh, we got another one for the good guy. She's apprehended and uh, good on us. Point seven two five hundred two ninety eight UTL. A report of a tire rolling in the number two lane. So we got another call here. Um, this per girl's been on the internet, so we're gonna check this out real quick and see what's going on. Talk to her for a second. So we're looking. We're looking for Julia. Julia? <laughs> what the heck? Oh crap. What are we doing? Now, we've been uh, hearing that um, you were on MySpace recently and you are spreading um, gossip via bulletins. Okay. Sure. Um, so, is this, is this true? Is this true? Um, That's a nice dog. Very nice. Is this true? No. It's not true? No, um, Because we got, we got a call from your mom. Um, she said you were spending a lot of time on the internet and I um, just want to make sure this was uh, all cleared up. Maybe maybe she, do you think she's lying or should we talk to her as well? Or? She's talking to her as well. Okay. Maybe um, she's gossiping. Maybe she's gossiping. Would you like to take a seat right on, right on the curb there real quick and uh, <laughs> we're going to talk to your mom for a second. Um, we have this. We have this call that from you apparently from the, at the station um, that your daughter has been spreading gossip, um, and there's a lot of stuff going on here that um, is really discouraging. Just seeing a, a young girl like that being involved with. Um, just want to know if that is that completely true or about her. I didn't know about it. Oh, I wonder who made the phone call. Then it's really strange. Taryn. Maybe Taryn I think made the phone Taryn call. Made the phone call. Oh, okay. It's unfortunate. I mean, we'll probably have to take her to the station and um, question a little bit. Um, Is she going to have to be in jail for a long time? Um, no. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll uh, have to call you and let you know it's exactly what's going on. Um, okay. We uh, have a warrant out for arrest, so we're um, just trying to get a hold of her and see what's going on. I mean, she's still she's still innocent. As far as we know, we don't have a whole lot of evidence piled up. We just have a phone call. It's in suspicion. So we're going to take care of that, and, uh, and um, we'll have your daughter back as soon as we can. We'll okay. get her back again. Is there anything you want me to do? Um, you want me to go with you? No, it's, you know what, just uh, hang tight here and uh, we'll take care of everything, okay? Okay. Thank you, I appreciate Thank you. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, apparently the mother did not make the phone call. I think it was her sister. And uh, we're just trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Um, we'll probably take her to the station first and uh, figure out exactly what's, what's happening. Um, there's not really a way we can do it right here. 
Apparently they had the uh, transcript from the phone call um, at, the, uh, at the station, I think. So we'll uh, take her there first, okay? Will that work for you? Sounds good, no we'll, we'll do it. These are losers. <laughs> Uh, we still got this one. <laughs> or last time. Okay. <laughs> oh, heck no! <laughs> Get comfortable with the long ride back. So I've been hearing a lot about this uh, this little MySpace thing, and all these kids are on it, and they're just spreading um, all sorts of all sorts of rumors and all sorts of dirty lies, and that's a shame. It certainly is a shame. I mean, this is the second young lady we've apprehended that, that's been spreading rumors of some sort somehow, and the yeah. fact that the internet's been the, the prime tool this time, it's it's a shame. But we we still don't even know if she's been doing that. Hey, look, there goes our friend. Glad we uh, got rid of this one real soon. That could have been a real loss right there. But once again, score two for the big guys. The Another one guys. for the good guys. Yeah. Let's go. In 72, Mary, the vehicle is a 2005. Stay affirmative. Yeah, wait for it. Glad to get a lot of smoke. Cops here, probably about two minutes out. Man, sometimes. These kids, they just don't know when to shut up. Far enough with that. Right. Yeah. You, stop right there, stop right there. Get her, get her, get her. 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 Get her, get Face down, put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back, behind your back. <laughs> I'm sitting in hands. Give me a roll. That's comfy compared to where you're going, Missy. <laughs> and I don't think Rocky all knows that it's you guys. Underneath. Set up. And get in the trunk! She's resisting, I need a little assistance here. Got her. Very nice. So, uh, why did we get this one? Well, uh, I guess what happened was she's spreading some rumors about someone at school again, in other cases, someone at school. Um, and she put governor hair in class and wanted to get back at her, so. She was telling her, she was telling some people she knew um, that her boyfriend was wearing uh, pink underwear. And she was telling all this to her friends, you know, that this guy's wearing pink underwear and therefore destroying um, this whole boyfriend girlfriend stuff that's going on um, at the school. But they shouldn't even have been having boyfriends and girlfriends at their age. You know, that's just a, a byproduct, you know? It's just the way it is, and we just gotta deal with it, and, um, Hey, but another one for the good guys. Yep, that's right. Copy. Could you pull that up to see what it looks like on the map for SRA? Negative SRA. Okay, uh, we got another call here. Um, looking at um, malicious orations by an older teen um, here in the evening. And apparently, there's been some serious damage done, so we're going to take care of this and uh, Get this guy locked up. He's really dangerous, and um, he has a warrant out. Uh, he's actually on parole right now, but uh, recently he's violated his parole, and we're just looking to uh, take him out. In fact, tonight we're going to be using um, what we call a sting, and basically what I'm going to do is um, meet up with this guy. You know, talk is talk, walk is walk, whatever. And just get out there and um, try to get him to say something that, um, 
you know, something that is parallel with this character, and then um, at that point, um, this guy in the back is going to pop out and we'll take care of him. Understanding my training, I said pretty much I should just have to stay here unless something goes wrong. What on earth is he? I've never learned that in training. That's really weird. Uh oh. Remain silent. That's about it. How's the rest of it go? Yeah, the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Right, smarty pants. If you refuse as an attorney, I will be appointed to you. If you understand your rights. I guess he's going to have to use his right to remain silent. I guess so. Let's get him out of here. All right. Up on your knees. One, two, three. Get up. Get up. On your knees. On your knees. All right. On your feet. One, two, three. Come back to the big house, buddy. Oh. You're a tough one. Can't believe that. You're one of the biggest fish we fried. Just about. I like fish. I like fish. <laughs> <laughs> fish after this. Long John that. Silvers? Sounds good. All right, then. All right. All right, buddy, get in there. It's been a long ride, buddy. It's about as comfy as you're going to get for quite a while. We've got nothing in common, no common ground to start from, and we're falling apart. You say the world has come between us.